Hello everyone and welcome back to another LEGO set review. Today we're going to be taking a look at set number 40586, the LEGO Icons 18 Plus Moving Truck. This LEGO set has 301 LEGO pieces and of course comes with two LEGO minifigures and the moving truck. I have had a lot of experience unfortunately moving LEGO so that's why I am so excited to be checking out this gift with purchase today. Like I mentioned, I've unfortunately had a ton of experience moving Lego from moving my Lego from my hometown in 2019 to my first ever Lego office space here in Toronto, and then again moving my Lego collection in 2021 from my office space to my current Lego room, which is in my condo here. Every time moving Lego has not been very fun because I just, I have so much Lego, it takes so much to do it, and the last time I even moved, I ended up getting movers, and they actually moved my Lego collection in a truck like this. So that's why I'm super excited to get into it today and show you how Lego Lego built a Lego moving truck compared to how I actually did some moving, you know, back in my day. All right, you guys, let's take a look at the Lego moving truck. In terms of the actual truck itself, I think the back cabin is like a little bit aggressive. I think it's really tall and very short. I wish it was just a, you know, a little bit shorter and a little bit longer to look more like an actual trailer, uh, but I have no complaints. I think the front of the cab here, I think that looks really cool. So let's take a look at that first. So I think for starters, I really like the wheels that they went with on this model. I think it looks really cool and I like that the one by one tiles were included there. On the actual cab of the truck itself, I think that just has a lot of Lego detailing and I think it looks really good. I was very impressed when I was building it. So for starters, I love like it's got like the running boards on the truck here so the minifigures can lift up into it. We've of course got the doors there. These are stickers. I wish the red matched the door color a little bit more, but it's okay. Um, I'm just being picky there and then the doors do open up. There's a door on each side. On the front of the cab here, you guys can see there is the wheel well, which looks really cool, the mud flaps and everything that look great. And my favorite part about this set is just the detailing on the front of this truck. I really like how they use those five gray dishes to really stack them on top of each other and give this truck a you know really unique look and a lot of detailing there. I think that looks epic. Of course, they use some tiles there for some headlights and overall just gave it a really nice pop of a look. The fact that they went with red for this was just perfect because it really gives this model a nice pop and it looks really awesome there. You guys can see that they even included some side mirrors as well, which I really like. And then of course the cab with the wheel windshield and the roof there. My only complaint about the cab, which I think they could have done better, is actually include two seats here because if you guys know, most moving you know trucks and vans do include the two seats, so it would have just made a lot more sense in my opinion to do so, but it's okay that they didn't. Of course, this is what the side of it looks like here. Looks just like like the other side and includes another sticker and more doors and everything and as I said it just looks really awesome. Moving on to the back of the truck here I mostly love how that looks. I, as I said think it's a little bit boxy for what it could be. I think it could have been a little bit longer and a little shorter but that's okay. We do have these big stickers on it that do say storage and transfer and it's a diff little bit of a different logo than what's on the doors but that's okay. Once again I kind of wish these stickers were just a little bit more matching uh, to the actual the base of the Lego set like the white and stuff but that is okay. Moving at the back here you guys can see we've got some doors back here uh, I don't know if I've ever seen these doors in another Lego set before but these are a six stud wide door frame uh, so the doors are about three studs each a little bit shorter than the typical four stud doors that we get so it allows for the double doors which I think looks really cool for the sake of the truck we've got some brake lights back here and a tile of the set number which is 40586 a very different sticker than what we're used to especially like say Lego City they normally add some letters or something like that and make it look a little bit different Different, but it's yeah again it's kind of like whatever of course this is what the other side looks like it looks identical there and then this does have a roof that does pop off and we will show you that in a little bit more detail I also my other complaint about this set and I think I just noticed it now when I took the roof off is the roof should have also been white I think it looks a little different a little weird the fact that it's in tan taking a look at the truck here I think looks really cool and you open up the doors like I mentioned and that's where you guys will be able to see all the chaos that is instilled in this set so I'll also take off the roof so you can can see it is absolutely jam packed in here. So one of the really cool features of this truck in addition to all the stuff being on the inside which I will show you in a little bit of detail is the fact that this part does slide out and allow you to move your Lego through it. Once you flip it around, you can attach it here kind of to the list and you can actually start moving all the things out of it. So just like an actual moving truck would, 
with a transport and stuff like that and using the dolly that is included in the set that's also at the back here, these minifigures can go along and actually wheel their things up into the truck. So in terms of what is actually in the truck, let us take a look because I have not shown you guys yet. We actually get a picture here which looks really cool. This is funny, this is like a continuation of the Jazz Club which I noticed there's a few other Easter eggs that I will show you. So this looks like a picture that could hang in that Lego modular building as well. We've also got some more instruments. Uh, so this is like a jukebox here again that could go perfectly in the jazz club set it's a cool build nothing crazy special or anything like that we've also got a piano which looks really cool i do like this one because i think it comes with some cool printed pieces there it's like a piano or an organ maybe one of the two but you guys can see there is lots of detailing on it as well we do get a dolly, which is really cool. So this actually, you know, stacks up in the back here so you can see it very well. Uh, but it, when you pull it out and you can actually hook this, the platform back up to it, you can easily have your minifigure, you know, push things up the cart in the dolly. Of course, this part does slide off and slide back in, so I'm going to put it in there for the sake of it. And it also actually includes a cool dresser. So it's kind of fun because the drawer of the dresser is hanging wide open, and that is part of the design. It doesn't go back in or anything like that. It is stuck there. And then on the inside here, we've actually got a $5 coin that just fell out of the drawer. But in the instruction manuals, that coin is in the drawer there and as it moves. And then last but not least, we've got a crate here which says to Jazz Club. And like I mentioned, this is one. One of the easter eggs that I specifically mentioned in this set that is part of the Jazz Club and then when you open it up inside it is just a donut which is pretty fun. The lid doesn't stay on very well but that is okay. You guys can see this is what the inside of the truck looks like. It is pretty spacious on the inside there you guys can see. It's got a bunch of uh, 2 by 4 tiles. Uh, looks pretty great. And the instruction manual actually details how you put all these artifacts that I just pulled out of the back of the truck in there so they all fit. Because if you just started shoving them in, you are never going to get any of it to fit. It is a strategy, but everything that I just pulled out does fit no problem in the instruction manual. Honestly, LEGO had the back of this truck stuffed almost as much as I had the back of my truck stuffed when I moved into Toronto in 2019. You guys can just see from these images here, I had so much LEGO shoved in the back of my moving van and it was, it was crazy. I also had a moving van when I moved to this studio in 2021, but unfortunately it was crazy that day and I didn't get any pictures or anything, but trust me, that place was full as well. Here's just a little bit of a better overview of all the different furniture pieces and accessories that we actually get in the moving truck. It's really hard to tell from just looking at the actual set here and the outside of the truck, but it really does fit a lot of cool things in there, and they are pretty strategic, and I love the Easter eggs to the Jazz Club. I think that's awesome. Of course, this LEGO set does come with two minifigures as well. They are pretty basic minifigures, nothing too crazy special. If you have any city or town sets, you definitely have some of the parts in it. So the female minifigure is the mover here, which is pretty fun. I love how LEGO kind of reversed the traditional gender roles there. She is wearing blue overalls and uh, the blue pants to match, obviously. She's got just a ginger hair, a pretty generic smile, and then you guys, have, like I said, you've seen that torso a million times, so that's what the back looks like. We've also got a gentleman here. He looks like he's the one moving. He is holding the broom. In my opinion, he's holding the broom backwards, but that's how the LEGO instructions said to show it, so I'm not going to argue with them. I've definitely seen that face and that hair piece before, and the torso, I think, is in 30 million sets by now. But you guys can just see that's what the back of it looks like in case you were curious. Overall, I think LEGO did a really killer job with this set. I think it's really cool, really ironic, and honestly, was a great addition to add to my LEGO collection. It is the first moving truck, and I wasn't even going to purchase any LEGO to get this set, but when my mom saw it in the email chain, she purchased some LEGO for gifts for the future because she is like, the amount of times you've moved and the amount of times that you've had to struggle packing up that LEGO collection, you cannot just not get the LEGO moving truck. And I was like, Mom, you're totally right. And that's why it was pretty fun to check out it today and review it here on my channel. So anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe. And I'm looking forward to seeing you here in the next video. Thanks again for watching, and have a great day.